always have a wonderful time wherever I am, whomever I'm with. It's January 2018, towards the end. Why aren't we open to the public yet? I mean, even my relatives have been asking me that. Um, I've not been well. Things have gone wrong. People who were going to come and work with me decided that um, this was a wrong time for them. Uh, so I'm very much working on my own. I'm literally a micro brewery. Brewery? Micro bakery. You can't get any more micro than just me. Um, so when will I be opening to the public? Uh, it at 40 Wheelgate in Malton. First week of March. Why not before then? I can hear all of my dead ancestors demanding. Um, because no one's got any money to spend on things. Um, because of Christmas and various other things that have happened. Um, January and February is terrible for catering. And also I'm going to be doing, as it's me, um, some quite specialised and quite interesting bread. Um, which you know, people are going to need to pay for. Otherwise, because I spent all my contingency money on things like floors and another oven and um, electrics and things I wasn't expecting, um, I'm going to need to eat and pay a mortgage um, and pay rent. And sorry, this isn't one of these. Hey, everything's going just groovy at the uh, micro bakery in Morton. Um, because things do go wrong. You set up a business, things go wrong. And there are what I believe people today call challenges. Um, I've always called them problems because problems can have solutions and challenges tend just to get, I don't know, either medals or people stop talking about them. So yeah, things have gone badly. Things are getting better. I've had lots and lots of great help and support from people like um, Dale's next door in Moulton. Amazing fruit and veg and dry goods suppliers. Amazing. Um, also from people like clacking oinks the street food um vendors uh in york who sell amazing food uh, based at the corner pin now and a whole host of friends who i've actually already thanked and so i'm not going to bore you to death with and the support from twitter absolutely amazing um really good so apart from the fact that i spent some time sort of hospitalized some time on a sick bed oh, don't i sound like a winsome victorian waif um, sadly I look like a kind of oversized 21st century micro baker um, I've been researching new bread what are we going to be doing we're going to be selling sandwich brillos we're going to be selling sourdoughs we're going to be selling burger buns we're going to be selling balm cakes made with balm if you don't know what balm is I'll um, tell you that later but it's to do with booze um, but we're also going, going to be selling uh, interesting European uh, Middle Eastern breads and flatbreads that I've been researching as I say while I've been lying like this oh, I'm so ill and my wife's been saying you're not really that ill are you? Um, the bread that um, if you want to try new things come to 40 we'll get milk Morton um, also we're going to be doing uh, supper clubs with chefs I know from Yorkshire and maybe further afield um, I hope if I can get uh, one particular um, Kent-based chef up here. Um, supper clubs, 10 people sitting around a table being taken through several courses um, by the chef. Um, so, with wine matching or beer matching um, in the evenings, hence supper clubs. Um, and maybe some producers will come along as well and tell us about their their food. So it, it'll be you know, an interesting event if you're interested in food um, and you're interested in Yorkshire and Yorkshire um, providers. Apart from that, probably Saturdays and Sundays, we're going to be um, selling sandwiches, um, nothing too expensive, fresh bread, fresh produce. I've also got some news possibly about opening the front of house as a full scale cafe, but um, I've been let down on that before. We'll see how we go. Um, that's it, really. Things are looking ahead. They have to, because I need to make some money. And the only way I can make some money is by making really good, really interesting and delicious bread for people like you, I hope, to come and visit us. 
So, thanks for the support so far. Sorry we've not been open to the public. Um, sorry this hasn't all been completely chipper, but them's the realities of them's the reality. That's the reality of running a small business at a point of austerity. Um, talk to you again soon as I have been. Please get in touch. Um, and I'd love to see you. Pop in. Literally, knock on the front door, knock on the back door, 40 wheel, 40 wheel gate. 40 wheel gate? 40 wheel gate. Um, you'll either get a big long chat or you'll get a freebie tester bread or bun or loaf or something. Um, oh, and one final point. If you know anything that I can do, apart from people like Toast Ale, who are doing a tremendous job with waste bread, and that's either wonky bread or bread that's slightly past it's um, a sell-by so wonky bread can go to food banks i hope um slightly past it's sell-by i don't know and i'd love to find out so please get in touch about wastage because i hate that and again i'm sorry i've been wibbling on um see you soon bye bye I always have a wonderful time wherever I am, whomever I'm with.